Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today we're making pecan pie bars. Mm. Grab a plate, cause it's the all free whole food plant-based cooking show. So, pecan pie bars. Yum. Especially during this time of the year when pecans are in season, and this is usually the time of the year where they're on sale at the grocery store. So just a tip before you make anything with pecans, if you see them on sale at the grocery store, stock up because they'll never be that price the rest of the year. So the, these bars are modeling the pecan pie, which I have a, a recipe for also, and we'll give you that link in the details, along with a printable recipe for this. So we're gonna make our crust first, and I've got one or three quarters of a cup of organic rolled oats three quarters of a cup of almond flour, or you could use almond meal if you have almond meal. They're basically the same, or they work the same. And then I have a third of a cup of dates, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, which is completely optional. And then I have a half a teaspoon of Himalayan salt, which is also optional. But it just gives it a little bit uh, richer of a flavor, both of those ingredients. So we're just going to keep them in there. So now we're just going to blend this until it turns into really fine crumbles, and then we're going to put it in our bowl. Okay, there we go. You don't want to go too long because that those almonds or that almond meal wants to turn into almond butter. So now we're just going to put this in our bowl. And you see it's still, it's pretty crumbly, so it's not going to stick together yet. So I have two tablespoons of water and it might take a little bit more, but you're just going to put like one tablespoon in and then cut it in. Just like you would, kind of like a pie crust when you do cut in the butter. You just keep working at it because it doesn't seem like much liquid, but it does come together. Okay, I'm gonna put in the other tablespoon. And this you could do with your hands too. You could just crumble it up because it may end up sticking together a little bit better if you do that. It's just starting to come together. So this is kind of a, a crumbly type of crust, kind of like a graham cracker crust. So it's not a super, super solid type of crust. All right, there we go. It's really starting to come together now. Just takes a little bit of patience. All right. And you can see it's starting to get bigger crumbles in there, or bigger clumps. That's when you know it's really starting to come together well. Okay, I'm gonna sprinkle just a teeny bit more water because you still wanna be able to get that out of your pan without it crumbling into a million pieces. But the next layer is very liquidy, so that will be baked over the top of it and it will keep it stuck together. There we go, that looks better. Okay, so now we've got our baking pan here. It's just a regular, uh, I think this is eight by eight or eight and a half by eight, just like a brownie pan. And I put a piece of parchment paper just on the bottom. You don't really need it on the sides because it kind of pulls away from the sides pretty easily. I'm just going to scoop that in there. And this part, you're just going to press down, get some of those big clumps out of there, spread it out a little bit, and then press it. And if you don't have a square one, you could use just a, a regular a pie plate. That would work just as well. Okay, all right, so I already have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. 
And we're going to put that in there for 10 minutes just so it'll seal the top so that the next layer, because it's a lot of liquid, it doesn't soak into that crust. Beans are an essential part of a whole food plant-based diet and should feature prominently in our daily menu. We love finding new and convenient ways to get our servings in. Wellbean is a tasty and wholesome way to get half a serving of beans in every bar. Wellbean bars are vegan and gluten-free with no preservatives and no added salt, sugar, or oil. Each bar is made only from an assortment of beans, fruits, nuts, and seeds. As a special deal for our viewers, follow the link in the description and use the code Plant Based Easy at checkout to save $5 off a variety pack because life is better with beans. There's no denying the plant based diet is a nutrient powerhouse, but did you know there are a handful of hard to get nutrients even well crafted diets are often lacking? The latest research suggests that complementing your diet with a few specific vitamins, minerals, and omega 3s will help boost your energy and keep you thriving for the long term. That's why my daily health routine includes Complement Essential. Complement Essential contains the eight critical nutrients lacking from most plant based diets in dosages optimized specifically for us. Plus, Complement is completely transparent about ingredient sourcing and third party testing, publishing the results directly on their website. As a special discount for our viewers, just use code Plant Based Easy at checkout to save 15% off of your order. So now on to our filling. Our crust is out of the oven, so we're ready to pour this on top. So I've got a cup and a fourth of pitted dates, one cup of unsweetened soy milk, but you can use whatever plant milk you like, a quarter of a cup of rolled oats, and that's what's going to kind of thicken this and a teaspoon of vanilla. So we're just going to blend this until the dates are really well pulverized. Okay, there we go. And we have to be careful because the pan is still hot. Over here. But really you just pour it on the top. You don't have to worry about it going all the way out to the edge. I'm just going to use my spoon from the batter, from the crust, because it's pretty close to all the same ingredients, right? Get all that goodness out of there. Yum. Okay. So then you just spread it around pretty evenly. And then we put the amazing chopped pecans on top. Okay, so I have one cup of pecans that are diced or really chopped pretty finely. And we're just going to sprinkle it over the entire top of this guy. And I got a little tip from a friend. She, she helped me test these out for tasting them. And she said, well, what if I put cinnamon in there? I said, Go for it. I think cinnamon would be great. And she wanted to pre-toast the pecans just so that they have a little bit richer of a flavor. But they're going to be in the oven for 30 minutes. And if you want them to be a little bit more toasted, at the end of that 30 minutes, just turn the oven temperature up just slightly and watch it really carefully until it's the, the color of brown that you prefer. All right. so. These are going into the oven for 30 more minutes. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded, which means these free weekly recipe videos, along with our entire catalog of free printable recipes on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, and our plant-based cooking made easy cookbook series are all made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting membership community. Our supporting members gain access to great member perks like our monthly product giveaways, eBooks, and in-depth courses, including our 28 days plant-based made easy course, where we offer a step-by-step -step guide to making the switch to a fully plant-based diet. So if you love our recipes, I invite you to join us on our mission to make plant-based cooking easy 
and follow the link in the description to become a supporting member today. Okay, let's get back to the show. All right, guys, they are done and they smell magical. Come on in here and take a look at these guys. Oh, those toasted pecans smell so good. But I'm gonna wait till these cool just a bit and then I'll meet you at the table for a taste. Okay, it is time to dig into these guys. Oh, wow. It smells so good. But it's always the challenge of getting out that first bar without it just tearing to pieces here, but I'm gonna do it. Oh, Ooh. all right, look at that. Oh, all right, oops, forgot my fork. So I'm just gonna have to take a bite from the bar. Mm. Oh, pretty hot. Mm. Pecans. Mm. This is going to replace your pecan pie need for sure. No refined sugars, no oil, no eggs, no butter. Mm. All healthy goodness. You're going to love it. Come on back next week and I'll show you another great recipe.